Good morning everyone, this is Mr. Ong here. Today, we are going to look at the 2019 NCA MCAT Algebra Examination. And if you are doing this paper in 2020 and beyond, please watch this video as we work through some of the short answer questions in this exam. Enjoy! The first question in the exam is this, okay? So, what is the value of 2x4 minus 3x plus 5 when x is equal to minus 2? So, this is a substitution question. So, instead of x, you are going to replace that x with the number negative 2. So, what we do, we're going to just put 2. Instead of x, we're going to replace with minus 2 to the power of 4 and then we're going to minus 3 and we're going to replace the x with minus 2 and then the last number was the 5 and you are going to just put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 43 and that will be your first achieve in this quiz exam Next question, we are going to solve a quadratic equation. So in the quadratic, your objective is to factorize the quadratic equation. So there are many ways to factorize. The easiest way is to do this factorizing. So instead of 10, so we're going to factorize 10x4, 10x squared, sorry, this should be squared, okay, 10x squared. We are going to factorize 10x squared into 10x and x. And then we're going to factorize minus 9. Two factors that multiply to give you 9. And we're going to try and error. And if this is 3 and this is a negative 3, we're going to try and error. And we're going to multiply them. 10x times minus 3 is going to be minus 30x. And then x times 3 is going to be 3x. And what we're going to do, we're going to add them up together. And the answer is minus 27x. If this number is the same as that number, then you got it right. So the factorized version is going to be, this is a plus, so 10x plus 3. And that will be x minus 3. That must be equal to 0. And how you solve this, you just put 10x plus 3 equal to 0. That bracket equal to 0. Or x minus 3 equal to 0. Now to solve this, you minus 3 on both sides, 10x equals to minus 3, divide by 10, and that will give you minus 3, 10 for the first answer, and for the second answer, x minus 3 equals to 0, you plus 3 on both sides, so x equals to 3. So the answer for that equation is x equals to minus 3 over 10, or x equals to 3, and that will give you a merit. Next question is the excellence question. Before you do this question, you need to know the rule. If you have xm multiplied by xn, that is xm plus n. That is the rule for indices. So you must make the base the same. So 636 is actually the same as 6 squared. And then times 6, 2x plus 6. 6x squared. So if the base are the same, you can say the top is equal to the top. So when you have the power using this formula, you plus them. So 2x plus 6 and then you plus 2. That is equal to x squared. So you simplify them. 2x plus 8 equal to x squared. And you bring everyone on that side, so you minus 2x minus 8, then minus 2x minus 8. Your answer is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. Again, this is a quadratic. You need to factorize them. So it's going to be x and x. 4, 2, and that will be a minus 4. You draw an error. x times minus 4 is minus 4x. 2 times x is going to be 2x. And you add them up together and they will give you minus 2x, which is the same as what you want. So minus 2x is the same as this minus 2x. So the factorized version is going to be x minus 4x 
plus 2, that must be equal to 0. Solving that, x minus 4 equal to 0, or x plus 2 equal to 0. And you solve it, x have to be equal to 4, or x have to be equal to minus 2. And gentlemen and ladies, that is an excellence in this paper. Okay, we are looking at question 2 now. So we have done question 1, the short answer question. Now we are looking at question 2. This is making P the subject of formula. The first thing to know, you, when you do making P the subject of formula, the P have to be on the left hand side. So the first thing you do, you're going to swap this equation. So P Q squared plus R equal to W. You just swap this over. And then we are going to put everything that we do not want on the left hand side. So we want P. So the first number to bring over that side is R. So you minus R on both sides. So P Q squared equals to W minus R. And then if you want a P, you must get rid of the Q. So you divide by Q squared on both sides. So the P Q squared will cancel. So the answer for P is W minus R over Q squared. And that will be an achieve. Question 2A, second part. Another question, that is a married question here. Or oh, possibly there might be an excellent question. Okay, you are going to make K the subject of formula. So you want K on the left and everything else on the right. So you need to get rid of this. So you plus 9C squared plus 9C squared. So F K squared, this will cancel out, become 0. So that becomes 4D squared plus 16G K squared plus 9C squared. Since you want a K, this K has to go there. So you minus them. F K squared minus 16G K squared. That must be equal to 4D squared plus 9C squared. Okay, this is the hardest part. You need to want the K, so you need to factorize the K squared. So you are left with F minus 16G. That will remain the same. 4D squared plus 9C squared. And the last step, K squared, you divide this whole number. 4D squared plus 9C squared. Divide by F minus 16G. And finally, you if you go square, you want to reverse it in the square root. So 4D squared plus 9C squared over F minus 16G. In most cases, you have to put a plus and minus. And gentlemen, that is an excellence. Okay, we proceed now. Next question is simplify an algebraic fraction. So whenever you have an algebraic fraction, most of you just would like cancel the x squared and x squared. That is not true. You have to factorize the top and factorize the bottom. Okay. If you can factorize the top, you get an achieve. And factorize the bottom, you get a, a, another achieve. So to factorize this, your common factor is 3x. And then you are left with x plus 3. If you factorize x squared minus 9, is the difference of 2 squared. It is x plus 3, x minus 3. So the next step you do, you're going to cancel out the common factor, x plus 3, x plus 3. And your answer is going to be 3x over x minus 3. And that will give you a merit in this exam. Good, we have done two questions. And now we're going to proceed to the last question. Sorry, there's one more question. There is uh, right as a single fraction. And how we do that? Very simple. The common denominator must be 12. So to get 12, you must multiply by 3. So it becomes 3 bracket 8x minus 1. To get 12, you must multiply by 4. So 4 bracket 3x minus 5. So you can combine the denominator as 12. So you expand 24x minus 3 plus 12x minus 20. Simplify like term 24 plus 12 is going to be 36x minus 3 minus 20 is going to be minus 23 and that will give you another merit in this exam. Okay, the last question. The last question, okay, is first we're going to do the achieve and the last two is going to be merit, okay? So 
when 20 divided by a secret number, so we let the secret number be x, okay, so 20 divided by x, and then 7 is added, you add 7, and the answer will give you 2. So how you solve this equation? Very simple, you minus 7 on both sides, so it's 20 over x equals to minus 5, multiply by x, 20 equals to minus 5x, and divide by minus 5x equals to minus 4. That will give you an achieve. Okay, last two questions. Solve this inequality. When you solve an inequality greater, less than, or equal to, you solve as though they are equal signs. So what you do first, you're going to expand 30 minus 12x minus 20. Be careful, minus 4 times minus 3 is going to be plus 12x greater than 5x plus 20. Now you simplify the like term. Minus 12x and 12x can cancel out. So 20 minus 10 is going to be 10. It's greater than 5x minus 20. When you take away 10 on both sides, so the 0 is become, become 12x plus 10. Minus 10 on both sides, so minus 10 is greater than 5x. Divide by 5x is less than minus 2. And that will give you a merit in this question. Last but not least, we are going to do an algebraic fraction. If you do not know, when you have an algebraic fraction, if you say half equals to 4 8, when you cross multiply, 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 4 is also 8. So it always works for a fraction equal a fraction, so you can cross multiply. So now you get x plus 12, x plus 12, and then this goes go up x plus 2, and on this side, x plus 4, and you bring this up, become x plus 4. You are going to solve this equation. So you expand. So you're going to expand x squared plus 12x plus 2x plus 24 on this side. And on this side will be x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16. Do the grid method, which I have explained in my video number 3. Okay. So simplify them, x squared plus 14x plus 24 equals to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Bring everything else on this side, so x squared plus 14x plus 24 minus x squared minus 8x plus 16 equal to 0. Now you can cancel the like term, x squared and x squared will cancel out. 14x minus 8x will give you 6x. Sorry, that should be minus 16, I reckon. So 24 minus 16 is going to be 8. 24 minus 16 is plus 8 equal to 0. Solve it. 6x equal to minus 8. 6x, sorry, x equal to minus 8 over 6, simplify minus 4 over 3, and that will give you a merit. Hope you have learned something from this video, and keep practicing. There's another paper in NZQA website, that is paper number 2 on the second day. Similar question, different numbers. Try it, and hopefully you get it. Thank you for watching.